Hi, it's Bridget. I am actually recording this video in Disney World. I am at our, in Orlando, Florida at the Resort Art of Animation. And today I'm gonna to do some channeling. I'm gonna have a chat with Mr. Walt Disney. And as you can see, I've been at Disney for a couple of days. I have my Tomorrowland Dreamers Society t-shirt on to channel for you today. And this particular um, section of this resort is actually themed to Finding Nemo. Check out Crush up there, awesome. So come on, let's channel a little bit. It's a beautiful morning, it's sort of overcast and that's great in Florida because then it's not too, too, too hot. So, all right, you guys, let's get cozy. So I have a few questions for Mr. Walt Disney, so let's invite him in. Now, this is a public area, so you might see other people or hear other people from time to time and that's okay. It's a family kind of place here. All right, so let's channel in Mr. Walt Disney while we are in Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Oh, awesome. Okay, I can feel his energy is coming forward here. It's actually a palm tree kind of kitty corner here. I'll show you. And that right there is where he is standing. Remember, I'm clairvoyant, so I physically, like, I actually see the spiritual energy. And so, um, hi, it's so nice to meet you. I can call him Walt because we've talked before. And he is, and he just kind of pulled up what looks like kind of like a lawn chair, a casual lawn chair. Well, last night we were in Magic Kingdom and we closed the place down. I'm here with a couple other ladies experiencing our uh, dreaming retreat. And it was incredible to be at Disney World on Main Street USA at the very end of the night. It was an hour and 20 minutes or an hour and a half after it actually closed the park. We were having dinner at, in Cinderella's Castle and it, we walked out and it was so peaceful so beautiful the lights were on it was almost like Christmas it was incredible so I had a few questions for you it, it really was awesome I could feel your energy even though I know you actually Walt were not actually here in Florida I know that you um, left this earthly plane prior to uh, Orlando Walt Disney World Studio or Walt Disney World opening up so I just wanted to say how incredibly peaceful and beautiful it was this is why I thank you I thank you he says, um, for adults to find magic, sometimes that there needs to be peace, he says. There needs to be a calming sense of, a calming sense so that you can connect. And he says, and that is magical. That is magical. He says, you know, sometimes, he says, sometimes magic isn't, fireworks and music. It can be those serene opportunities. He says, like you had, like you had, my dear, on Main Street USA. That was beautiful. It was really, it was so unbelievable. And I'll share some video of that with you. So there was a light on in Main Street to signify your apartment, like the apartment that you had in Disneyland in California. I understand you had an apartment there. The family says, yes, with my family. Um, he's showing me his kids kind of gathering there and watching the parades from the window. But not here in Florida, but they still have the symbolic light on in the window upstairs. And I have a picture of that too. I'll have to show everyone. So what do you think about all, there's so much, there's so much change, so much change. In fact, I went on this ride. We went on this ride yesterday. It was the first time I've ever experienced it. I've been to Disney World many, many, many times and Disneyland many, many times. And we went on this Frozen Ever After ride with Elsa and Anna and Olaf. And um, it was in Epcot, actually. It was really awesome. And the, anim the animation, the animatronics of the kind of robotics, um, the technology is unbelievable. Unbelievable. How do you feel about that? What do you think about that piece, that technology piece? He says, I'm quite proud of it. I'm quite proud of it. He says, you know, I, he says, I get too much credit. <laughs> I don't think so. Do you guys think so? I don't think you get too much credit. He says, I get, I'm given too much credit for that, he says. He says, it, it, it may sound corny. He says corny. It may sound corny, but it really does start with a dream. 
you've really got to expand your creative creativity and imagination. And that's when really incredible things can happen. He says, when ideas come together, it truly anything is possible. It, it truly is. And he says, I have seen it. I have seen it myself. Um, some would say it's my legacy, perhaps to encourage innovation, invention. I am quite proud, particularly of the technology and the animation or animatronics is what it's considered. So he says the mechanics of things. Yeah, it's incredible, you guys. It's incredible. Google it. Like, look it up on YouTube if you want to see that ride and some of those rides in like Pandora as well. So what, what do you think about all this IP stuff, like uh, intellectual property? Disney has purchased. Um, there's been a lot of, there's been some criticism from Disney diehard fans and from the general public as well at times, just like with any business, Disney World, Disneyland, Disney is a company, it is a business. And because of that, there are decisions that are based on profit and business principles, which you would expect from business. But there's been some criticism about that, that putting money over people, such as raising ticket prices or really pushing um, progress so much that they overcrowd the parks and they charge more money and, and there's that kind of pressure. Um, but Disney is a business. How, how, do you, uh, how do we as people, fans, musketeers, <laughs> how, do we, how do we come to terms with that? You know, that part that Disney is a business, it's a company, but it's also this, this beautiful dream. It is really magic. But how do we come to terms with those two things? Because they kind of seem at odds. He says, oh, they're not, at, he says, they're not at odds. They're not different. Businesses must be innovative. He says, Pe businesses must be innovative in order to, to really achieve what they set out to achieve, just as people do. And everyone, should everyone shall set goals in their lifetime to be able to experience or express what it is that is within them and whether that be in their hearts or connected to their spirit things that you've got to experience or you've got to make in the world and for some it's grand on a grand stage and for others it's behind the scenes and supporting other dreamers living their dreams as well. And that is a dream. He says, no dream is too little or too small. And when it comes to business, we must recognize that that is what makes the, that is what allows the opportunity to be able to actually be, uh, that is, oops, somebody's gonna come down the slide, I think. I'm on the slide, see? See, I'm on the slide right here. See, on the slide. He says, so the, the business and the human part, it's the business is the vehicle that allows the dreams to be realized and to be acknowledged or marketed in the world. And you have to have a marketing component or an element because it has to be communicated. Without communication, there's no expression in the world. There's no sharing of it. So it has to be communicated. And the way in which it's communicated is through the structure of a business. And so that does create profit. Profit is not something that's evil. It's not evil doing, it's necessary. And it provides opportunity for more innovation, more advancement and more creativity, more progress. So what would you say? Progress over purpose? And what's the point? You know, what is more important? Is innovation and progress more important or is simply the purpose of having a dream and being inspired? the point of Disney World. He says that's up to the individual. That's up to the individual who, who chooses, you choose. It's how you choose to connect and how you choose to be a part of the dream. We are one, living one big dream together and we are dreamers in the same dream. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's getting kind of busy out here, as you can hear. I'm actually sitting on the playground, and now there are some people around, so I think I'll wrap up. And then, of course, it's a hotel, so there we go. There's the luggage people. There we go, the bell services, so 
All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Walt Disney. This has been a channeling session with Walt Disney. I am sitting here. This is Bridget High at Walt Disney World Resort. I am at the uh, resort Art of Animation. I'm actually in the Finding Nemo section. The big blue pool is right behind me. Again, you can look this up on YouTube and you can see it. There's a splash pad for little kids right here. And then beyond that is a big blue pool. And then behind that is where all the food is and the gift shop. And then the other side is where you take the buses and the transportations around the Disney World parks. All right. Thanks, Walt. Appreciate it. And thank you for watching and for being part of the channeling experience. Bye. Oh, I should say, have a magical day.